Well, Jerry, you've clearly unearthed another gem in Tommy Conway. Two games at Twerton Park and four goals. Yeah, what good players do, Mark? They, um, you know, listen, he's a goal scorer, and we've seen that, obviously. Um, but they work really hard. And uh, what he does up there, he, he makes... He makes space for himself. He's always in the box. He's always in between the goal sticks, which we spoke about before. We've been, you know, people have been saying, I'll oh, play two up front or play one up top. But actually what you've been after is a goal scorer, a natural goal scorer. We didn't really have that last year. Um, we wanted to get someone, Tom Smith is 17 goals that I spoke about a lot. And um, that's what I was in the market for. And when I, when I identified Tommy and Donovan, those two are that for sure. Obviously Donovan at the moment is missing, but Tommy's showing exactly what he's, a, what he's all about. He's a goal scorer. But he's got more to his game than just scoring goals. That's what I'm trying to say. He works ever so hard for the team. And at the end there, he's trying to press for us. He's trying to get his body up against real big centre-backs. Um, alongside Freddie Hines, who I thought was terrific for us again today. We know all about him. We've brought him back in. He needs to get his career back on track. He loved playing for us last time. That's why he's here again. So that's great. That's credit to us as a football club that when he came on loan, he enjoyed it. And I thought he was outstanding as well in that performance. Yeah, but he seemed to really sort of adapt to the work rate as well, especially in the second half. He was really coming back, almost helping left back at some points, and then obviously so important at the other end of the pitch with his two assists. No, definitely. Um, when we changed to a, it was almost like a four-four-one-one, if you like, then because I felt as though the game was a little bit open. I've got to say, we never felt like, and when Jack came off, he said it doesn't feel like Gaffer they're going to cut us open. There was just obviously a lot of territory uh, being denied by us, so we dropped back in. We defended very resolute. It was a lot of diagonals coming in, but we never felt like it was going to cut us open, put us under a certain amount of pressure. Um, and I thought we managed the game really well. We didn't start the game at the tempo we normally do or what we'd like to. Um, I thought the first 20 minutes was a little bit edgy um, without them creating anything really. But as soon as we scored the goal, I thought you saw an air of confidence around the team. I thought we started to move the ball a lot better. We had some good flowing moves again, a bit like the one that Tom Smith was um, disallowed up at Oxford. And um, near the end, really, we should have scored a couple more goals on the counter-attack because when you drop away into a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, you've got that width and you've got people like Callum Watson, a wide one, Tom Smith coming off a 10, Tommy Conway and Freddie Hines, you've got pace to take you up the pitch. And um, the second goal epitomised that, really. It was a counter-attack. It was a great ball by Borley down the sides. Freddie's, Freddie's almost walked into the 18-yard box and um, there's that man, Tommy Conway, just to tuck it away. Defensively solid this afternoon as well. Jack Batten managed 75 minutes today and obviously avoided giving away any free kicks on the edge of the box, which helps. Uh, Billericay, although they started pretty strongly, Ryan Clark wasn't overly stretched right. No, right. I just spoke to Ryan and he said what he felt was if none of the balls, there were lots of loopy ones coming in, there was no real balls in behind us, there was no real balls that caused any problems. We've had to defend set pieces and we keep working on them because we need to be better at them and we have been better today. We've pulled everyone back for our set pieces purposely to do that. So, um, no, listen, I, I like the way Jamie does things there. They play some, some good stuff at times, some good spells without really hurting us. Um, and, um, and in the end, we come away, I think, with a deserved three points. It gets us off the mark because when you go to Oxford, you put in a good performance, which it was. Honestly, it was a good performance. You were there, you guys were there, and we can see two free kicks, two goals. And you come at home, there is a little bit of pressure to go and get a result and do well um, because naturally our expectations are high because we finished fifth and third over the last two seasons. So... We have to manage that. We didn't put too much pressure on the players. We spoke about performance and we helped them out in the end by changing the shape and the players go and do it. Like you said, Freddie Hines went back in there and, and decided, look, I, do you know what, I'll, I'll work hard. I kept saying to him, you're OK. He hasn't played football or 90 minutes for months, um, even though he's been trained at Bristol City. It's the first 90 minutes he would have played for a long time. So no credit to them all. They're, they're not just the two in it, obviously. The, there's a lot of players. You know, Tom Leake now has come in from Warsaw. Um, he stayed down overnight last night and um, he's come in and, and done a really good job. Defensively, I, he's exactly what I'm looking for. He will head it, he'll be strong, he'll get his body in. He's, um, he's one of the guys that really enjoys defending. Um, he knows his little bits he needs to work on, that's why he's at the football club. Um, but he's slotted back in it right back when I push Callum Evans over to left back. So, listen, they're all doing a very good job. We've got some bodies to come back. Frankie hopefully will be fit for Tuesday. As I said, Donovan's only going to be probably a week away now. Um, and there's another sign-in that I've brought in um, from Bristol Rovers when announced on, on Monday, which is an attacking option. Um, so the, squ the squad's getting there. How much importance is that on the training session before the game? You said to me pre-match, you had a really good session again on Thursday. And although you said it was a bit of a slow start today, but they really managed the game well through, right? No, they did. Yeah. And I only say a slow start because of our high standards, Mark. You're not... You know, I said to them before, what we're trying to get to is a performance which is complete. So that's 96 minutes, whatever it may be. That's near on impossible to do. We've had games here, we've been brilliant over the course of a couple of seasons, but we've never really had a complete, complete performance. So today, that was the challenge to them. Um, listen, training was very, very good on Thursday. In regard of their togetherness, the spirit in the group, 
they're still trying to build relationships. The coach trip even, this may sound weird, the coach trip up to Oxford and the coach trip back means that they can bond together as a unit, as a team. That's the most important thing at the moment. I've got good football players and that's paramount. That result today shows keeping a clean sheet at home. What I did stress on them and emphasise is that we're at Twerton Park and this is a fortress and it has been a fortress over the two and a half, well it's three years now and I want that to continue. And they've, they've shown that and understood that today because they've kept a clean sheet. So more of those training sessions. There's no good having a training session if you don't get a performance on a Saturday or a Tuesday. More of them and more, more performances like that. They're going to be able to bond further with the next two matches on the road, yeah. starting with Slide Town in the FA Cup on Tuesday. Not exactly the draw perhaps you were looking for. Awful draw for me <laughs> and Neil and John. Listen, we, we speak a lot as, as managers. They're good guys, those two. And he was first to text me and then, and then John as well, saying what an awful tie for us both. But hey, listen, we'll go there full of confidence now. I think they've lost today down at Dorking, which is no... That's, not, that's nothing bad against, against Slough there because Slough are a very, very good side. John and Neil always has them very well organised. They're a group that is always together, really hard to beat, never, never say die attitude about his team. And more than that, in fact, they've got some good footballers in there. So, listen, I fully respect what they do at that football club. And um, it's always a tough game when we go there. But um, we have to go there full of confidence. We'll, we'll go there and try and win the football match because there'll be a result on the night. And um, we're really looking forward to it.